Hey everyone, it's Peter, the mechanic at Beach Bikes again. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and adjust a 7 speed derailleur. It's very simple. All you need is a 9mm socket and a Phillips. I'll show you exactly how to do it so it's simple. When the bike arrives, you'll notice that the cable for the derailleur, this part right here, is already attached. However, it is not adjusted. If we run through the gears right now, it won't work exactly as it's supposed to. See? So what we need to do is adjust this. It's very simple if you do it properly. If you don't follow the right steps, it can be very frustrating. So the first thing you want to do is take your 9mm socket and go ahead and loosen the cable. That's always the first step. If we do this, now the cable is completely free and loose from the derailleur. We'll go ahead and take this. This is the tensioner, the micro tensioner that you will need to use a little bit. And go ahead and turn it clockwise so it runs all the way in, right here. Now, if we turn the pedals, we won't even touch the gears. The derailleur, since it doesn't have any tension on it, will naturally go into the smallest gear, all on its own. So now, while it's, the cable is still loose, we need to get the high set screw, which is this one. They're labeled, this one has an L for low, and this one has an H for high. And what this is going to do is going to determine where the derailleur is in relationship to that high gear, which is the small gear. So what I do is I do it by sound. Now listen, you can tell it's making a little bit of a chattering noise. That's because it's trying to push into the second gear. So we'll back it off, which is counterclockwise, a little bit, and it'll make less chatter. It has still a little bit of chatter, so we'll back off just a little bit more. Now it's perfectly adjusted. If you look in the back, you can see that the two pulleys, two pulley wheels of the derailleur are perfectly lined up with the small gear, which is the high gear. Now is the time when we pull the 9mm socket back out and reattach the cable. Now you want to make sure the cable is fed all the way through the cable housing as tight as you can get it. And the next step is to go ahead and shift into second gear and see if it goes. One second. You need to also make sure that before you tighten the cable that the shifter up on the handlebars itself is actually all the way in the high gear position so you get all the cable that you need. Okay. Like I said, after you tighten the cable, the next step is to go ahead and shift into second gear and see if it actually goes. Usually it doesn't. It starts to make that chatter noise, but it doesn't go all the way. So what you have to do is take this micro adjuster and turn it counterclockwise, and that will give extra tension to the cable until it shifts. Now once it's nice and quiet, give it a couple more just to get a little extra tension. Now the derailleur should shift perfectly. Third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear. 6th gear, 7th gear. The last step is to adjust the low set screw, which does nothing but to keep the derailleur from going into the spokes. So it usually doesn't need to be adjusted. Um, just make sure that this is pushed in enough that the derailleur doesn't go farther than the smallest gear. And then it should also downshift or I mean upshift perfectly as well.